These are the front doors of our sanctuary. Many of you watching this know that because you come to church here on a regular basis. But we always want to be aware of those who haven't shown up yet. Because we are a church that values welcome. Every Sunday we have a welcome statement that we read. And it says that we welcome everyone here. And we really mean that. And we even welcome people in some ways that other churches don't. And for us, that's really important. Uh, today is June 1st, and it's the start of Pride Month, a month when people from the LGBTQ plus community celebrate their identities. And those of us who love people in the LGBTQ plus community, those of us who consider ourselves allies, celebrate them as well. And we rejoice that more and more our society is open and welcoming and inclusive of people from all over the sexual identity and gender identity spectrum. That's a good thing. At our church, we believe that's a sign of God's love, that God loves and welcomes everyone, and so should we. Our tradition does that, the Disciples of Christ, and our congregation makes a point of it. So this week, we're actually getting ready to celebrate Pentecost, which is the birthday of the church. The memory of Pentecost is that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, showed up to the disciples 10 days after Jesus had gone off and uh, returned to heaven, is actually the story of the ascension, that Jesus disappeared from their sight. And so they were wondering what's next, what's next for them. And what happens is that the Spirit shows up like a rushing wind, an uncontrollable energy, and and tongues of flame appeared above their heads and suddenly the disciples were speaking in different languages or were understood by people who spoke different languages and people who they never would have thought they could connect with were welcomed into the church that day were welcomed into the body of Christ and in the last several decades more and more people have been able to be their full selves people who thought they would never be included in church people who thought they weren't welcome have even become ministers and leaders in our tradition and others like it that have the same attitude. And so we are very happy to say, happy pride, and happy to say at First Christian Church Valparaiso, all are welcome, and that all means all. <laughs>